Hi guys, welcome back to my Yoga for Senior series. Today we're going to be doing a sequence for arthritis if you're struggling with arthritis in your hands or your feet, um, also in the spine. So I'm going to focus a lot on joint health today and doing just a few different things. So um, let's all, first of all, before we get started, you will need a block and a strap and I am sitting on two towels. So if you have a blanket or just something um, on the firmer side that you can sit on and elevate your hips a little bit, that would be really good. So once you have what you need, let's go ahead and get started. And um, if you are someone that has really high, tight hips, um, the seated position is gonna be a lot easier the higher that you are. You can even sit in a chair or I'm gonna give you a variation where you can hold um, your legs so you can just hold your hamstrings. So if sitting cross-legged doesn't feel good or a chair isn't an option, then that's an option. So whatever seated position you're in, go ahead and root down through your sit bones and just allow your hips to soften and really lengthen through your spine, roll your shoulders back. And we're gonna do a few shoulder rolls. So just starting from the inside and working your way towards your back. Um, notice if you're, go ahead and just relax your elbows and just relax your hands and do a few neck rolls, I mean shoulder rolls. And see if you can keep your spine still and really bring your attention into your shoulders, into your shoulder joints. And opposite direction, go ahead and just roll forward. Keeping the spine long and breathing into those shoulder joints. And go ahead and roll your shoulders back. And just start to notice your breath. And really letting the shoulders just guide this movement, keeping the spine long. And go ahead and just a few wrist rolls. Notice if one wrist might feel a little bit tighter, might catch in certain spots, and do opposite direction. And really just focusing on your wrist, the joints in your wrist. And go ahead and just spread your fingers wide, nice and wide. And clench your fist. Spread your fingers wide as you can. And clench your fist. And spread those fingers super wide. And just one more time, clench your fist. And spread those fingers really, really wide. And just hold, breathe into those hands. Keeping the spine nice and long. And go ahead and release. And if you can come to a seated position on the floor with as much support as you need under your sit bones, and we're gonna be just focusing on our hip joints. So if you wanna just, you can actually straighten that left leg to make it a little bit easier. And I'd like you to just breathe into that right hip. And I want you to go in as much as you can and out as much as you can staying rooted through your sit bones. If you feel your hips start to lift, then you're going too far. And just breathe into that, those hip joints. And opposite side, go ahead and bend that left knee and straighten that right leg. And same thing, nice full movement. And if you hear some pops or cracks, probably a sign that you need to be doing this. So just breathing into the hip flexors and the joints in the hip. And really bringing your attention, your mindfulness to this just simple movement. And sometimes that makes it a little bit easier to sit cross-legged. So if you can, please sit cross-legged. Otherwise you can sit with your knees bent if that's more comfortable. And we're gonna start working into the shoulder joints a little bit more. So 
I'm gonna try and show you. So um, you're actually gonna be grabbing, so your thumbs are pointing away from your body. I'd like you to start with plenty of space. So just imagine that your hands are shoulder distance and then maybe a shoulder distance and a half. So just plenty of space. And keeping that spine nice and long, just start lifting those arms and you're gonna start to feel it in your biceps and your shoulder joints and just breathe into those shoulders and keep that spine nice and long. And if you're feeling any pinching in your hips, you might need to change your leg position. I'm just breathing into those shoulders and go ahead and lower. And if you need a little bit more, go ahead and shorten the distance so you can grab. I wouldn't go further than, um, further in than about hip distance, shoulder distance. So grabbing a little bit tighter hold and same thing when just bring your shoulders into this nice deep stretch and just bringing the arms up and breathe into the scapula as well really pressing the shoulder blades forward and go ahead and release and we're just gonna take a breath here. And I'm gonna do that one more time. So lengthen through that spine and nice firm hold on that strap and go ahead and just lift the arms, breathing into those shoulders. And spending a good 10 seconds here, really pressing the shoulder blades forward. and release and i'm gonna come into a side side stance so i'm gonna start stretching the um feet a little bit so for this you are gonna need a block and again in this sequence i'm focusing a lot on joint health so in this position, you're gonna need to, I want you to just see if you can get every toe so that it's um, kind of sitting on every toe, even the little toe. And you're gonna put your block, oops, forgot to say that you do need to put your feet like close together. Just making sure, sure that even the little toe is getting the benefit of this. So you wanna grab that block. You can even use two blocks if you need it, but what you're gonna do is you're just gonna place that block on your heels. And if you're not used to stretching the joints and the toes, this is gonna feel really intense, really fast, but you're gonna start working your way up to a full seated position and the little joints in your toes are going to feel like they're on fire which is good um, so it's really good if you have arthritic feet if you struggle with issues in your calves or legs definitely all connected to the feet so just breathing into those toes keeping the spine long And you might need to adjust the block a little bit. And if you need a little more height, you can always kind of adjust the block as it works for you. And let's go ahead and come out of that for a second. And just go ahead and stretch out your legs for a second. We're gonna do that one more time. and bring the big toes pretty close together. See if you can get the toes 
in an even deeper position so you can actually grab hold with your hands and you can place that block. You can also, if you need more height, if you feel more comfortable using a towel or a blanket, all kinds of ways that you can get a little more height if you're struggling with just the block. So wherever you're at, just trying to get as much weight onto your heels as possible. So the more um, that you can get to parallel with your spine, the better. So just breathing into those toes and Notice if you're gripping in your toes and see if you can just, you know, really surrender to the pressure because it's going to feel really intense. So just breathing. And another 10 seconds here. See if you can settle in a little bit more. Let's come out of that and oh, go ahead and just straighten. See if you can spread your toes. Just really stretch. Oh. Nice stretch for those toes after all that. And let's go ahead and reset in child's pose. So if you wanna just bring your big toes together and knees a little wider than hip distance apart, you can just rest your head and just allowing your hips to move towards your heels and just really let that red head rest and take a few deep breaths here. Deep inhales and exhales, just resetting. One more breath here. So we're gonna do something a little bit different for our hip joints. So this is a really nice way to let gravity help, help us massage our hips. So what you wanna do is you can interlace your fingers if you want to, and you want your, your knees to be about as wide as the mat. And all you're gonna do is move from side to side. And you should be feeling this a lot more in the groin area, more than your outer hips. And really breathe into this movement. If you need a little bit more, you can actually separate the feet. You're gonna start to feel it And what you're working towards is you actually can bring your groins a lot closer to the mat. So this is really intense and it takes a long time for your groins to get to the point where they can stretch this far. So this is just a really good way to start warming up the groins and you can start just slowly kind of working your way down further and this is just so good for the hips if you tend to have arthritic hips and you can 
just always moving really slow when it comes to hip work. And let's all come into child's pose one more time. Big toes together and just let your head rest. Knees apart, about hip distance apart. And just a few breaths here. Breathing into those hips. Coming into tabletop position, just a really nice stretch for the forearms and the wrists if you have arthritic um, hands. So go ahead and just bring the front part of your hand onto the mat, your right hand, and keeping that front part of your hand nice and grounded, go ahead and just lean back. And just a soft bend in that elbow breathe into that wrist a pretty intense stretch come back up and just one more time go ahead and lean back and go ahead and just spread those fingers wide kind of wiggle your fingers around and um, just be gentle as you transfer the weight to your right hand after doing that. So go ahead and bring the left hand into position and you can just sit back a little bit and you're going to start to feel it in your wrist all the way into the forearm and really breathe into that wrist. Really going slowly is really important. And one more time, go ahead and lean back. Moving a little bit deeper. And nice and slow, go ahead and release. And just spread those fingers really wide. Kind of wiggle those fingers around. And I'd like you to just spread your fingers as wide as you can, right and left, as wide as you have ever spread your fingers. And go ahead and come into position for downward facing dog. You can tuck those toes under and just press the thighs back, stretching through the spine, spread your toes, as wide as you can. Just pressing those thighs back. And back to tabletop and ending with just a really simple movement that's great for the spine. Go ahead and inhale around the spine. And exhale open, rolling those shoulders back. Just letting your whole body move in harmony. Breathing into those hip joints, the shoulder joints, the little joints in the fingers and the toes. And just one more at your own pace. always like to end with child's pose when I can. So big toes together and knees hip distance apart. Just let that head rest. Really enjoy the fresh blood in these joints and just what breathing deeply can do for us. Go 
just a few breaths here. And that is it. I'm going to go ahead and come to a seated position. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed today's class and I look forward to seeing you next time. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth, available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts. 